Do you want to level up your drumming game? Of course you do. So we're starting right now. What's up everyone, CJ here. I hope you're all doing well. Drum fills aren't everything, but they sure are fun to play. You should never overuse drum fills, but they can really help you with your creativity behind the kit. This is gonna be a fast paced lesson, so make sure you watch the entire video so you don't miss out on anything. Now, these drum fills are somewhere in between the level of intermediate and advanced, so playing them might help you out with fresh ideas. You can find a PDF of all these drum fills in the link in the description. All right, you guys, let's start with the first fill. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This is one of my favorite stickings, and it's also not too difficult. You can get really creative with this. I'll break it down to the snare drum first and then try it around the kit. Such a fun drum fill. All right, let's do another one. Getting some hi-hat action in your drum fills always sounds nice. This fill is divided up in two parts. The first half of the sticking is right, left, left, hi-hat stomp. You play that twice. And the second half of the sticking is right, left, left, kick also played twice. I'll break it down slowly at first and then gradually increase the speed. Film number three. This fill sounds almost like an extended Herta fill. It sounds insane and massive, especially at a higher speed, but the cool thing is that this sticking is not even difficult. The sticking for this entire drum fill is kick, kick, right, left, right, left and you play that four times. Let me show you.
I mean, who needs the gym when you can play that? All right, time for the next fill. This fill is played as 16th note triplets and it sounds awesome. And honestly, it takes way too long to explain the sticking. So let me just break down this drum fill for you slowly, but keep up. Told you, awesome fill, the last drum fill. Okay, so this last one is kind of like a hybrid between a linear groove and a fill. Keeping the backbeat going really makes this fill pop, so let's try it out. All right, my friends, hopefully these drum fills will help you out getting some creative ideas behind the drums. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you're not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated whenever I release a new video. If you wanna check out three of my go-to chops, click on this video right here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and good luck with your drumming. I'll see you soon.